hello again welcome back thank you for tuning in once more um so today today we are continuing our lesson on monologues and for this session for this video we are going to be focusing on elements of a monologue okay the elements of a monologue now the elements are the parts that the on monologue is made up of okay and as with all good stories, a monologue has a beginning, a clear beginning, middle and end. Okay, now the beginning of the monologue um, should really grab the um, listener's attention, okay, or the reader's, the reader's attention. Um, often the character in the monologue might be facing a problem. Um, they might have a challenge to overcome or something might be in the way of them getting to to, you know achieving what they want to achieve the middle of the monologue now remembering that these are very very short the middle is the part of the monologue that, where the kind of ideas develop and um, the character tells you you know what their goal is and what they want to achieve okay and at the end um, there's usually a little kind of twist maybe where the character involved in the monologue changes in some way, um, solves their problem, um, finds a way of overcoming whatever it is that they're going through. Okay, quite straightforward, yeah? Beginning, middle, end. However, it's not quite so simplistic as that. We want to um, sort of tease it out and explain things in a bit more detail. Okay, so what I want you to remember today is the following little word, okay? Cops. Now this is something I've come up with. Just a, a very simple word. It's just a very basic introduction into the elements of a monologue, okay? A monologue will contain four key elements, okay? In this instance. C, O, P, S, cops. Now each letter stands for a key element of the monologue in question, okay? First things first, very straightforward. C is for character, okay? The, there is obviously a character in the monologue and the character is the person that is speaking, okay? So, character. That character that is speaking has an opinion. Now, whether this is, um, you know, that they find something funny, that they are not amused at something, that they are sad at something, that they are excited by something, they have an opinion, okay? And they're gonna tell you it, okay? And they're, they're gonna show you through their opinion that, you know, there'll be a little bit of attitude to go with that, right? Now, so the character has an opinion and they're trying to tell you that. However, throughout the course of their conversation, throughout the course of their monologue to you um, or to the audience, they will encounter a problem. So this problem, P for problem, gets in the way of them achieving their opinion or their objective, okay? So the character has an opinion or an objective, a goal that they want to achieve, but there's a problem getting them in the way of achieving that. Now, again, it's a very short um, piece of work that we're focusing on at the moment, but in a very short space of time, not only will you be introduced to the character, find out their opinion, discover that they've got a little bit of problem, something getting in the way of that. At the end of their monologue, there'll be a little twist where they manage to solve that problem. There'll be a solution um, and they'll come to a conclusion, you know, that it's 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 okay. Okay, that it's either fixed or they'll, you know, um, something will happen. So, cops. Now, remember that. Quite easy. Four letter word four elements. Character, opinion, problem, solution. Character, opinion, problem, solution. Now, you may have the PowerPoint um, provided by your teachers, um, which will talk you through this um, in a little bit more detail, okay? However, don't worry if um, you haven't managed to get your hands on that, that is fine. Um, also available on my um, YouTube um, page account, 
you will see that I have another video, one of my videos, which takes you to Alice's monologue, okay? And that is someone who might be quite familiar to you performing a monologue from Alice in Wonderland, okay? And it is the part of the story in Alice in Wonderland, whether you know it or not, I don't know, but Alice is playing a game of croquet with the Queen. And during the game of croquet, uh, the magical Cheshire Cat appears and Alice is, Alice speaks to the Cheshire Cat. The Cheshire Cat is asking her whether she's enjoying her game of croquet. And Alice tells the Cheshire Cat her thoughts about um, that situation. Okay. If you have the PowerPoint, you'll be able to read that. If you don't have the PowerPoint, as I've said, just look at Mrs Charlton's YouTube, find Alice's monologue, look at it. And while you're watching it, or while you're reading it, I want you to think cops, okay? Obviously, the character is quite straightforward. We've kind of talked about that. What is the character's opinion? Do they have a problem? And how do they solve that problem? Okay, so Alice's monologue. What's her opinion? What's her problem? What's the solution? Um, there are a few more questions on the PowerPoint, but I think that will sort you out. I want you to watch that. I want you to um, spot the key elements in that monologue using cops um, as a reminder for yourselves. Okay, I hope you get on fine and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Thanks for tuning in.